So, why am I making this video? Well, that's a very good question actually, because it is a risky video, right? I guess I just want to show you that, you know, sometimes it happens that you have a different opinion than 90% of this entire planet's population. But that's okay, it happens. Or maybe I'm just a masochist? I don't know, and I love reading triggered people comments, comments from people who don't know how to disagree respectfully. But you know what? I'm actually getting quite numb to those kind of comments. That's what running a YouTube channel does to you. And so, yeah, I feel quite confident sharing this with you. I think, I hope, we'll see. Um, <laughs> yeah, but anyway, no, look, I also think that it's super important as a content creator, a creative person, photographer or videographer to realize and accept also that there's always going to be people who don't like your work or some of your work and there's nothing you can do about it. But that doesn't necessarily mean that your work is bad. No, of course not. It's just not for them. And you can talk to them and try to convince them all you want. It probably won't make any difference. But again, that's okay. That's totally fine. It happens. And well, yeah, that's actually the message of this video. So if you want, you can stop watching now. Or if you're curious, well, here are some movies that well, I'm sure they're great movies. I mean, I know they're great movies because so many people love them. But for me, no, when I watch these movies, in here it just starts glitching and short circuiting for reasons that are entirely and totally subjective and maybe even irrational, but I'll let you be the judge of that. So let me know in the comments, yeah? Here we go. Look, I used to love Batman movies. When I was a kid, Michael Keaton as Batman, Jack Nicholson as the Joker, Danny DeVito as Penguin, Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman, easily in the top 10 movies of my childhood. I love them. But then I grew up, I guess. And look, I can still watch those movies today for the nostalgia, they're fun movies. It's like watching a real life comic book. But Christopher Nolan, and I love his work, he's on a whole other level. I actually like all his movies, except the Batman movies, I guess, because he turned it into something dark and serious. And I think it's a combination of that darkness and seriousness and me not being a kid anymore. But the thing is, all I see now when I watch those movies is a grown man wearing a bat mask with pointy little ears. I'm gonna repeat that. A grown man wearing a bat mask with pointy little ears. And I just can't, I don't know why. But I do appreciate the movie as a whole. The atmosphere, the cinematography. It looks really nice. It looks beautiful. I can see why so many people love it, but I just can't get past those pointy little ears. <sighs> I don't know what to say. It's a grown man in an animal costume. And yeah, it, it doesn't work in here. Also, whenever I see him fight, I'm like, wouldn't it be a lot easier to fight without that stupid cape? It seems like it's always in the way, no? I don't know. And so it's actually not just Batman movies. A lot of those superhero movies, yeah, I just see grown people in silly costumes. Some I do like, like Deadpool, for example. And I think it's because I can connect more with the humor and the jokes in those movies. It's also a different kind of movie. But Superman and also all the Avengers movies and, and those things, I don't know. And let's be honest, shouldn't they stop making Marvel movies now? Even if it's just for a few years? I mean, God, no? Anyway, look, I picked uh, The Dark Knight because it's the top rated Batman movie, but for me, it's all those serious Batman movies that I have a problem with. And I realize that it's just an irrational glitch in my brain. So yeah, I'll have to deal with that. Grown people in silly costumes, it's just not for me. Next is Everything Everywhere All At Once. Now, what can I say about that movie? Not much actually, because I didn't get past the first half. It was so incredibly boring, oh my god. And so yeah, you know, with this movie I have a lot more trouble understanding why people love it so much. The jokes, the interactions, the acting, everything felt so cringy to me. Like incredibly cringy. I don't know what it is. That's also why I stopped watching after the first half. And I mean, it doesn't mean anything because a lot of people find my jokes cringy. So you know, it's again a super subjective thing. But still, where with The Dark Knight I still had somewhat of a connection, this one, something, no, everything, somewhere, whatever, no, I can't. It's just one of those movies that does not connect with me at all. But even here, I don't want to use words like overrated or bad because, I mean, I'm sure it's a great movie, a lot of people love it, but it's just not for me. 
it doesn't connect with me at all. And I accept that. And don't tell me that, you know, I don't understand the movie. It's complete bullshit. It's just not a movie for me. That's it. So yeah, just enjoy it without me. Love it without me. I'm totally fine with that. And I'm also not gonna watch it again because, you know, if a movie can't hold my attention during the entire first half, then what's the point? I'm out. See ya. Okay, next movie. This is starting to turn into a rant. I can feel it. Whew. This one hurts a bit actually, because I love the first one, love the second one, and even the third one, but number four, it has the best rating, but honestly, I also didn't finish it. I mean, I kind of finished it. I was on my phone the second half, like, you know? Oh, what's happening? Oh, uh, no. Uh -uh. That's how I watched the second half of the movie. I don't know, maybe I expected too much, because before I watched it, everyone told me that it's the best one yet. What? No. No, for me it isn't. At all. To me, it felt completely over the top, in a bad way. Because, you know, over the top can also be good in a comical way, or even in a serious way, because the first John Wick was also over the top, but it was cool over the top. This is over the top, over the top. Bad. I mean, not bad. I just don't like it. Because again, I'm sure it's a great movie. No. Glitches in here, a lot of glitches. And you know what it is? I can explain exactly what the problem is. So every fight in that movie, when they're fighting multiple people at the same time, whenever John, for example, kicks or punches someone or knocks someone out, and then he turns around to fight another guy, well, that first guy is always like squirming around on the floor or even standing like this, you know? And he's like, oh, I'm hurt, oh, it hurts, I hurt. Meanwhile, John is fighting another guy. And then the second John finishes his fight with the other guy, this guy snaps out of it and he can go back in the fight. What is that? How, how does that work? It feels so obviously fake. They're just waiting to go one on one. Here you can actually see the bad guy look at John like, is it my turn again? Or should I just wait a little bit longer so I don't mess up the shot, the choreography? You know what I mean? Okay, now I have to go. And it's so obviously fake. And there are so many instances where you can see the bad guys like politely waiting for their turn to fight John or some other guy. And it's so weird because it's so obvious. Because a lot of times they could have just popped a bullet in his head and the movie would be over. Or why not attack them all at the same time? No, they're just waiting there. Even guys that are not hurt, sometimes you can see them wait to, to get in the fight when the other guy who's, who's already fighting, when he's down. It's that whole, oh no, I'm only hurt until the second John finishes his fight and then I snap out of it and I go, can go in the fight again. <laughs> I just can't, I just can't hear. It glitches in my brain, yeah? And same goes for the fights with the blind guy, actually. I'm, you know, I'm willing to believe the whole blind guy is a great fighter, you know, he fights with his hearing. But again, there were so many instances where John or whoever could have just popped a bullet in his head and he would be dead. But no, they just wait or they do another stupid thing. And one time, okay, but not like a million times in the whole movie, no. It all just feels overly choreographed. It's like watching Dancing with the Stars instead of an action movie. And you know, even if it's a bit over the top, it should still feel somewhat realistic, right? Or maybe the director doesn't expect the audience to pay attention to the guys at the side, but yeah, unfortunately I do. <laughs> I just feel too much that it's all just a stupid choreography. I mean, it's not a stupid choreography, but I don't wanna feel that it's a choreography when I'm watching a movie. I hope that makes sense. And that all, all like squirming around and like, I'm gonna wait until he finishes his fight. Oh, I'm still, I'm, oh, I'm so hurt. Is he done? Yeah, okay, now I can go again. No, no, that's not how you do it. I'm gonna stop here, guys, because I can feel that the rant is taking, like, it's going to the next level and it's not good for my heart. Yeah, my heart rate is definitely up. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Because, like I said, this is, completely subjective, maybe even irrational, but I don't know, maybe you have movies that you don't like and everyone else loves or the other way around? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what you think about these movies. Am I overreacting or, you know, do I have a point somewhere? I don't know. But as always, keep it respectful. Peace, love. I don't want to see war in the comments, you know, because I will delete it in a... Wait, I will delete it without batting an eye. There's the bat again.
Um, <laughs> no, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really hot now. And see you in the next one. Salut.